Hey guys, Tasha here from Stardust Gold Crochet. Hope everybody's doing good. Um, I wanted to work through this summer sunflower boho bag. Um, and I'm just gonna go through a few of the aspects that are a little bit more, might be confusing in the pattern on the website. So, and also how to, we're gonna attach the other side of the handle so that you can see how it's done because it's a little unusual. So um, this is the bag and I love it. It's created from um, the sunflower, summer sunflower patterns for the square that I did. And you can look at that little eye right there and click it and you can find that pattern there. And also down below in the description, you can check out the pattern on how to make this bag. So for what we're gonna do today, you'll need a little bit of this yarn that you used for the main part of your bag, a darning needle, and a pair of scissors. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I've already done. This is the side of the bag, and this is where I've attached the handle to the bag itself. And in the pattern, you'll see that um, it'll say, when we're, we're gonna create this kind of handle pattern. So to make it real secure, I wanted to make it really secure. Um, and I'll show you what it looks like on the other side without the handle attached. So what you do in order to do this part of the handle, which is kind of the, the bottom or the base of the handle, is you basically head on over to the edge, which I'm going to say is diagonal to the center of the three cluster, like that. And then we're going to attach the yarn here. This is all in the pattern. And then you're going to do a single crochet in the same, single crochet in the same, chain four, and then head on over to the other side in the same spot. And you're going to be working down. So you're actually going to like kind of enclose a little bit of space. You're not going to be working in the very top loops of that. So you can get it real, so it'll be real secure. And then you just do two single crochets in this side. And that's how you do that. So it leaves a little gap here. And that's what we're going to attach the handle to. And as you can see, it kind of plays into the design with the holes. And that's why I did that. But it's very secure. So let's go ahead and attach the handle. I'm going to make sure that it's all face up. Then turn my bag over to the side and kind of spread it out to lay it flat. And of course, you can pause this video and fast forward if you don't want to, or you just kind of want to play it by ear or do whatever you're going to do. So of course, I'm going to thread my needle. And so what I'm doing here is I'm going to go into the top of this first single crochet, both loops, and then I'm going to go into the corner. And I'm going to try to get it weaved in there through a little bit so that it's secure. Leave enough tail for you to weave in down here. And then I'm just kind of whip stitching this part and just kind of randomly going in to make sure that it gets a very secure connection to the edge of the bag. And I'm going to go back down through and come back out that, that other second single crochet. And mind you, this doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're real into finishing, I kind of like a little bit of um, non-perfect things in the world. So here, what I did was, you see here's the top of the chains that we did, and then here is the opening. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to kind of do a little stitch back and forth through through the centers of these chains to attach them. Mind you, you can do whatever you want here to make it as secure as you want. 
This yarn is very thick and very forgiving. So when I get to the end here, I'm going to kind of do a few more whip stitches around there to make it really tight and secure. And I highly recommend going back through the base and the top and just do another bit of a running stitch. And this yarn, like I was saying, is very forgiving. If you're using a yarn that's not as forgiving as this, where you want it to look just absolutely perfect and pretty, then go on and do that. And then of course you're going to weave in this tail and both of these tails right here. So that's it. That's how you attach the handle. So let's move on to the tassels or the fringe down here at the bottom. So here you can see I did about two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven across the bottom. And all I did was um, I'm going to undo one so you can see what I did and show you how long they are. So you know how if you do tassels, what you're going to do is you're going to cut a piece that's long and the, the, the length of this is about, ooh, about 12 inches. So you grab them all up and for this I usually use my hook which for this project was a nine millimeter hook. And I just went into the base, the center base. You can see right here. So you grab it, make sure they're even after you put it on. And you wanna do them all facing the same direction. So I went in from the bottom like this, coming up, grab it tight, pull through, when you get it up there, you kind of want to make your loop just a little bit bigger. You can use your fingers or you can use your hook to grab it back through. Whatever way is easier. Sometimes taking your hook out and using your fingers is easier. Then once you get it to this point here, you see that's kind of big. You're just going to pull it tight. And this is, you can do any kind of fringe you want, of course. Some people even take a couple together and then tie them. So, but that's how this fringe is done and it's about 12 inches. All right, guys, I hope that helps and check out the video. The full written pattern is on my blog. Please subscribe if you have any questions. Um, I would love to answer them. Just leave a comment down below and also um, head over and check out my website. There's lots of free patterns, lots of tutorials, and this one is fun, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Also, hit that little bell button to get notified of all future tutorials and then also future companion videos. Thanks, guys. Happy crocheting. Stay, stay well. Stay happy.